This conference will now be recorded. Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So guys, today I'm going to cover one very quick topic that is called a different locator. Okay. Different locator strategy in Selenium. Uh, so far we have seen that every time we are using eight different locators are there in Selenium that we have in the by class we have by dot x path by dot id by dot name by dot css selector by dot class name link text partial link text tag name right these are the different eight locators are available but apart from that there are three other different locators are also available these are very special locator with the help of three classes are there so i'll show you that uh, how to use them but before that i'll show you that uh, Okay, in the Selenium Java document. So I'll go to seleniumhq.org. Okay, their official website. And uh, go to download section and you will go to Java language binding. Java doc is there. If you go to their Java doc, I'll show you one class is available. Uh, can you see that by all classes there? These three classes by all, by chain, and by okay, ID or name. These special selectors are there, guys. So in by class, if you see that okay, this is the by class. In by class, we have eight different locators are available. We have okay, these are no uh, those known subclasses are there by dot class name, CSS selector, by dot ID, by dot link text, by dot name, partial link text, tag name, X path. Apart from that, guys, we have these three also by all, by chain, and by ID or name. So, how to use them? Right? So, always remember that apart from these eight locators, we have other three locators also, special locators also. We have all, chain, and ID or name. So, we will be using one by one in the same example, and then we will see what happens. So, uh, what I'll do quickly, let me show you one application let's see we will take facebook application right so just a minute i'll open facebook.com okay so let's see this is my facebook.com for facebook.com what exactly i'm going to do that let's see i want to enter first name over here right my first name over here so how to enter so i'll go to my eclipse i'll create a class quickly and let's see my class name is uh, we will create a class. Class name is extra locators, right? Select the main method, click on finish, and uh, we will launch Google Chrome quickly. So first, we will set up the property system dot set. Okay, uh, property quickly. The driver dot Chrome dot driver is the key name. Okay. And the value will be the executable file that we have already downloaded, which is available on in my download section or in your case in C drive or D drive where exactly it is. And simple get info and we will copy the path over here of my Chrome driver dot exe file. Right. And inside this particular downloads folder, we have this Chrome driver. Okay file is there that is the dot executable file i have already covered so many times that this is how we have to launch google chrome and then we will write web driver driver is equal to new chrome driver and then we will import both the things and then we will use driver dot uh, get method www dot facebook dot com right now see we have to enter first name right so we will quickly inspect this guy first name so i'll inspect this guy first name and we will see that okay different attributes are available type equal to text and we have two attributes like name equal to first name and id also their id is equal to id equal to u underscore zero underscore j so we have guys i'll be using the same method driver dot find element Okay, we have to use by all class. So what exactly I'll do? I'll just create the constructor or object without reference. 
I'll simple call the constructor of by all class. So how to create simple right like this new by all class is there. So if you see the return by all, what exactly it is accepting? It is accepting multiple buys. Okay. So I can provide multiple by all means multiple attributes I can provide. Right? So let's see by all what by all by dot name. My name is whatever the name is. Let's see the name is first name. Right. This is the name. Okay. Comma by dot ID also we can use. What is the ID? ID is equal to this U underscore zero underscore J. This is also there. And let's see by dot X path also we can write by dot X path and X path of that particular field is let's see this is input field. So this is uh, input field and we will quickly create the X path. Um, let's see I'll be using uh, at the rate name is equal to this name first name. Right. So this is my X path for this guy. And then simple I'll be using what dot send keys. Let's see I'm passing Naveen. Okay. So I'm passing Naveen. Let's see. So this is my code guys. Now how exactly it will work that driver please find the element either of them either by all either by name by ID or by expert. So execution will start from left to right first it will check by dot name is there or not. Let's see by dot name is not working. Then it will give the second chance to by dot ID also. Then let's see by dot ID is also not working. Then it will check okay with the X path it is working or not. Right with this particular X part is also it's not working. Then it will give you no such element exception. Right. But let's see it is working with first name immediately it will enter send keys Naveen. Right. Let's see first name is not working. It's working with ID. Then it will enter whatever the value that you are passing Naveen. Okay, it will enter. Let's see both a name and ID is not working. The next path will be working and then it will enter the read over there. So the sequence is like it will check from left to right. Okay, so at a time we can have multiple locators. We can have all eight locators guys over here by dot name by dot ID by dot X path class name CSS selector all the different locators. We can write it over here. Okay, we just need to pass. We just need to call the constructor of by all class. So let's see it is working or not. So and let's see what happens. Simple write run as Java application and uh, let's see it is working or not. So you will see that okay yes Google Chrome is getting launched and uh, you will see Naveen is getting entered over there. Right. So this is a kind of approach that uh, you can check either of them it is working or not. Right. So let's see I'm passing wrong first name. I'm passing only one two three and let's see what happens. So let's run it again. Okay, so right now the name is wrong then. The, okay, it will check ID. So right now it's not giving any error because name is wrong. So name will be skipped and then the preference preference will be given to ID. Let's see I'm passing the wrong ID one two three or some dummy ID or sample ID I'm passing and then again you run it. Now the preference will be given to X path because name is also wrong fine and then ID is also wrong fine and then finally it, it is entering the value on the basis of X path like this. Okay guys one thing you need to remember that if you are providing implicitly weight also over here let's see driver dot manage dot timeout dot implicitly weight of let's see five seconds and then I'm writing time unit dot seconds. Now let's see what happens. My name is also wrong. ID is also wrong and then let's see what happens. So if you run it and let's see my browser is getting launched. So for ID. Okay, five seconds will be given. For name also five seconds will be given. So let's see see that my program is still running. It's not. Can you see that it's still not terminated? So after 10 seconds Naveen got entered. Right after 10 seconds, Naveen got entered, not immediately because we have given the implicitly weight. Now, this implicitly weight will be applied on by dot name. 10 sec, 5 seconds will be given to by dot name. Within 5 seconds, it is not found. Fine. 
it will ignore then it will give the preference to buy dot id again buy dot id also five seconds will be given still it is not working then after five plus five ten seconds xpath got found then it will enter naveen over there so after 10 seconds naveen will be entered over there so that's why implicitly weight will be dangerous in that case so you should not use implicitly weight right so better to use explicitly weight in that case so and let me comment this line fine now we will see uh, another thing let me comment this i'll write driver dot <clears throat> find element new see can you see that by id or name either you pass id or name either of them it will check so let's see i am passing my id is first name right this is my first name my i'm just passing name not id right and dot send keys and simple writing the name now let's see so whatever sometime what happens let's see id is also there or name is also there but you want to use either of them so you can use this class by id or name you just need to create the constructor of this particular class and then pass either id or name that's it so it will check this first name is related to id or name and on the basis of that it will enter the value so now you will see that okay naveen is getting entered over here fine so this is very very straightforward sometimes you will see such kind of examples in your framework if you join any new company some people they use it actually right some people they use it okay multiple locators also together they are using and then don't be confused that okay uh, naveen haven't discussed about it uh, okay new by all or new by id or name so these are the different locators are available locator classes are available actually now we will see one more thing this is something interesting driver dot find element okay new by chained can you see that new by chained this will work when parent and child hierarchy is there now see i want to enter naveen right so can you see that naveen is related to input field like this particular input first name is related to input field this input is having one parent tag that is called div having this particular class and this div is having this particular div having class equal to this on u okay and uh, this u underscore zero underscore i is like this so what i'll do guys now see carefully i'll create okay like this by chained by dot okay class of by dot class name actually by dot class name name class name of that particular parent the highest parent is let's see this guy so class equal to this or uh, let's see i'll use this id id is equal to u underscore zero underscore i so instead of class name i'll be using by dot id and this is the id okay by chain by dot id fine comma by dot okay what is my second guy second guy is this div class is equal to this so i'll be using this entire class and then i'll be using let's see xpath so by dot xpath and the xpath at the rate class sorry double slash and this is my div at the rate class is equal to okay this particular xpath fine so this is my second attribute let me write in next line so that you can see it properly then um, after that what i'm going to do so this is my by dot id the first parent okay by dot id u underscore zero underscore i this is my first parent then we have second okay parent is there div and this particular div having this particular class under that particular div this child is available input child is available and then i'll be using id for this guy or name for this guy let's see name so what i'll do simple i'll be using like this by dot name and name like this and then i'll enter dot oops, sorry 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 just a minute okay wait a minute by dot name 
mm, comma oh yeah we have to forget comma and then dot send keys and let's see now i'm passing the key over here now see guys by chain means a complete parent and child chaining you have to use right so what i'm using new by chain by dot id this is my first parent then we have second parent by dot x path like this and then actually under this particular okay div we have one more child is there first name child okay input having first name then i'm using by dot name first name then dots and keys so ultimately what exactly i'm trying to say by chain is the class here you can pass parent to child relationship okay so you can divide let's see two parent one parent two and then child so parent one by dot id parent two by dot x path and parent three by dot name like this and then enter the value so you can create a proper chaining over here okay parent to parent to child chaining you can create and you can create n number of chaining okay four to five six parents also you can use and then parent one to two two to three three to four four to five four to six like that and then one child is available like this also you can create so sometimes this particular strategy will be helpful for very complex dom or something like that in that case it will be really helpful for you guys okay so let's see this is working or not so if you run it let's see what happens so see it is entering Naveen over there right so this strategy will be very useful guys sometimes but i really like this guy by by all by all class is really good you can actually pass different combinations either of them selenium will pick one by one not either of them actually one by one from left to right if name is not working then it will give a chance to id if id is also not working then it will give a chance to x path like this and by id or name also so either of them you can pass either id or name whatever it is just write specific value for id or name it will take it and then it will work and this is for chaining parent to parent okay parent to parent to child like this you can write it like this so these three special locators are available people might ask you at a time of interview so don't be confused that okay uh, what the hell these locators are about we have never seen that but these actually things are available in selenium okay cool thank you so much guys thanks for watching so let me share my channel name also you guys know that okay Naveen automation labs we have already started python selenium series guys i'll be uploading a lot of videos on python and selenium uh, some videos on python programming language and we will see a lot of features on selenium with python language binding so please subscribe to the channel a lot of new things are coming soon okay and let me know if you have any issues you can share this video to your friends and circle okay in your uh, professional circle either on linkedin or facebook and uh, feel free to ask me any question if you have thank you so much guys thanks for watching the automation labs